Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. As you can see, I've got my lovely little green screen behind me. I did a cool little paint job right up here. You can see with the little stripe and all that kind of stuff because when I move around, I want to be able to go through the, you can see the edge of the wall right there. Um, but today, guys, as you saw from the title of the video, I'm going to talk to you all about a time when I got in trouble, almost got in trouble with the police, right? This is going to be a funny story. Um, I like doing these. A lot of you guys really like the video where I talked about my arm and all these kinds of stories and whatnot. So um, it's going to be kind of like story time with Molt, if you will. And I just kept all this uh, green and everything so uh, you guys can see where I'm at. But so my senior year of high school, so I was 18 years old. I was always the oldest guy in my class um, because I started late because I had a summer birthday. So I was born in July. Um, my senior year of high school, the day before Halloween, all right, the day before Halloween, I had this little Michael Myers mask. You guys have probably seen it in a trolling video with Nick. I still have the mask. It's a little Michael Myers mask, um, that I would always wear. Uh, Michael Myers is someone from Halloween for those of you who are super young, uh, and you don't know what it is. So, uh, I had this mask on and I was in Texas and there's a lot of woods around there and I found some like deer antlers back in the woods before and I would uh, collect them. So I just have random deer antlers. I never hunted or anything. I just found them. But uh, the day before Halloween, my friends and I, it was me, um, David, we called him Bubba. I know, it's kind of funny. Uh, and Darian. So uh, us three went out and we were like, man, we're bored. What do we want to do? I don't know. It's Halloween tomorrow. Let's go mess with some people, all right? So I had the mask and then Darian and uh, Bubba went and hid in this tree by the road, all right? So they were hiding in this tree by the road, and uh, as cars would go by, I would walk out in the road <laughs> with my mask on and see how close I could get to the car as it was going. So it was in a neighborhood, so yes, it was dangerous, but I was in high school and I was being dumb. Um, so I would see how close I could get to the cars and just, like, stare at them. Obviously, it's not that scary with my face, uh, but with the mask on, I would just stare at him holding the antler like it was a weapon or something. I don't know what I was thinking. And I would get really, really close to uh, the cars as they would drive by. Um, and over the next like 30 minutes, I would work up uh, a little more courage to get closer and closer to the cars. Um, <laughs> one time, this one guy was in like a sports car trying to be all cool. Uh, and he went and like, like spun out and turned around and floored it back. I mean, I just got up on the curb. And he just like started yelling at me and I just stared at him. I just stared at him. I didn't say anything. I just looked at him. Uh, and eventually he was like, you're being stupid and just left. Uh, so it, was, it was pretty dumb. But so like I said, after about 30, 45 minutes of doing this messing around and uh, whatnot, my friends were just in the tree cracking up. Um, I was like, all right, I'm going to see. I'm going to try and get like a couple inches from this next car's uh light from the review mirror or from the side mirror so I get as close as I can and right as the car passes by it was dark <laughs> I realized it was a police officer so it was a cop I was like oh crap and so I yell for my friends and I'm like run and so we take off um over this hill down into this cul-de-sac and the cop uh turns around really quick and comes out and he shines his little light he's shining his light around like looking for us um, and my buddy Darian, for some reason, uh, tried to run and hide somewhere else, and the cop got him in his light, and, uh, he started yelling at us, he's like, guys, get out of here, like, don't leave me out here to get in trouble by myself, and we were just cracking up, and the police officer was like, hey, if you didn't do anything wrong, why are you running and hiding, and so we were like, all right, that's right, you know, we didn't do anything wrong, so I take the mask off, I come out, and he just, <laughs> we go up to his car, and he just looks at us, and he's like, you guys stupid? And we're like, what are you talking about? And he's like, it's not Halloween yet. Quit being dumb with that mask. Get out of the freaking road. And why are you carrying around a deer antler? <laughs> Just like <laughs> looking at us like, okay, are you guys like, honestly, what the heck are you doing? And, um... So he just asked us, he was like, why don't you be safe, get out of the road, stop messing around, um, go scare some people tomorrow, whatever. Uh, and he was like, why'd you guys run from me? And I was like, I don't know, we were scared, because <laughs> we were scaring people. It's funny, I was the one scaring people, and then I got scared because the cop came. Um, and he ended up just, just letting us go, obviously we didn't do anything wrong. And it was just, it was hilarious. I still think about that uh, randomly around Halloween time because it was a lot of fun. 
Uh, and I just like being creepy. Like, I think this, some of the scariest Halloween costumes are when people just stand there and, like, look at you. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, all right, I know that's a person. I know there's a person behind that mask, but they're taking it a little bit too far. And so that's what I always like to do. But... Uh, if you guys like this story and you like uh, listening to stories and you want to hear more, let me know. Uh, maybe tell you guys my most embarrassing moment, which was probably from middle school. Um, stuff like that. I just like telling stories. I think it's a lot of fun. So let me know if you guys enjoyed. I know it's just a random story and it's not class related or anything, but it's my life and uh, it's cool. I like hearing people talk about funny stuff that happens in their life. So um, if you all like it, throw a like down below, guys. If we get, I don't know. Uh, a couple hundred likes, then we'll uh, definitely do more of these. So, again, if you liked it, let me know down below, and I will see you guys in the next episode, all right? As always, guys, make sure you keep calm and you play on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.